Have you just started intermittent fasting and you're not quite sure how to get the 24 hours between fasting and eating and getting them to line up and equal each other? As someone who's been fasting for two and a half years, one of my most frequently asked questions is how to get the 24 hours in a day to add up? How do you focus on the fast and focus on the eating windows? get them to equal 24 hours. And I might surprise you with my answer, but we're gonna get into it right now. Hello, my fellow fasting foodie friend. I'm Jackie. I have been intermittent fasting since June, 2020. I do OMAD or one meal a day almost every single day. And I get questions from new fasters all the time about fasting schedules. So the first thing I wanna say to you is break the idea that you have to have a perfect schedule outlined and followed. The quicker that you realize that intermittent fasting is extremely flexible, the easier it is gonna be to maintain it as a lifestyle. If it's flexible and it's something that you can do day in and day out and you have the ability to change based on what you have for the day, you're gonna be able to do it long term. So embrace the flexibility of fasting do not require perfection so even if what we talk about today inspires you to build some schedule and you don't do it perfectly every day you're not a failure that's the first thing i want to tell you perfection is not required to find success with intermittent fasting now that we have that out of the way, let's get into what I suggest for fasting schedules. So often new fasters think of a 24 hour day and they think that they need to plan every hour within that 24 hour time frame. I'm here to tell you, if you fast 18 hours, you do not need to eat for six hours. Additionally, if you fast for 23 hours, it doesn't mean you only have one hour to eat. So 18 hours is my daily minimum currently. I've been doing that pretty much since I started. I started with the mind frame that I would probably do 18-6, but I quickly realized I don't want to eat for six hours a day. I really feel good in the fasted state. I like to eat volume. I like to eat one larger meal a day and then return back to the fasting schedule. That is what I've learned about myself, but I took the time to kind of experiment with different fasting regimens and come up with that but I have my 18 hours as the minimum. So if I only fast 18 hours before my next eating window, I don't suddenly have to add up to 24 hours. That is a giant misconception that the hours you fast and the hours you eat have to equal 24 hours. They don't. This is me giving you permission to get rid of the 24 hour rule. There is, there is no rule. Get rid of it. Pretend it doesn't exist. We are not talking about a time construct. You are simply fasting, then eating, then fasting with no time constraints. So get rid of 24 hours. Have you said goodbye to it? Good, we can move along. So here is what I do. I have my daily goal of 18 hours. I do hit that goal almost every single day. There are times where I break it early to have breakfast with my family on Christmas morning or if we're on vacation, I might have longer eating windows and shorter fasts for a short period of time. But for the most part, I am committed to fasting 18 hours every single day. I feel really good when I get those fasts. And from there, my eating window really varies. Zero is a free fasting app. I am not affiliated with them in any way, shape, or form. They probably don't even know who I am. I've made several videos on using them. I use the free version. I don't pay for premium, but you can see I have been fasting 17 hours. So I have not broke my fast. You can also see here at this point, I have 893 fasts in a row. Um, and by the time this comes out, it'll be very, very close to 900 fasts. So I am looking at my current fast. Um, we are just going to, I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. I went back just to have a few. Um, I went back, I have a 23, two hour fast, a 23 hour fast, a 20 hour fast, a 19 hour fast, a 25 hour fast, a 22 hour fast, and a 21 hour fast. So the first one that's 22 hours, you can see um, if you go into the details, that was January 2nd, I fasted 21 hours and 34 minutes, so it rounded up on that graph. And from there, I broke my fast at 12.38 in the afternoon, and then I only had about a, what, 15 minute eating window before I fasted again. So that must have been a down day. So I fasted 22 hours almost, eight for 15 minutes, and then I fasted again for 23 hours and 18 minutes. Well, on January 3rd, I fasted for 23 hours and 18 minutes. I opened my eating window at 12.11 in the afternoon. This was an up day. And then I ate from, or my eating window was open from around noon that day until almost 8 p.m. that night. So I closed my eating window January 3rd at 7 43 p.m. If you take the seven and a half hour eating window and you add it to my 23 hour 18 minute fast, it doesn't add up to 24 hours. 
Does that mean I did anything wrong? Absolutely not. What it means is I ate early one day, I had a very short eating window, and then I fasted almost an entire day and didn't start my eating window until the next day at the same time I closed my eating window. That gave me almost a 24 hour fast, and from there I ate almost the rest of the day, ate almost eight hours. That gives me variety. I didn't do anything wrong. I still had a fast, I had an eating window, a fast, an eating window, a fast. That's all that I do. I focus on getting my 18 hour minimum. Often it ends up being longer than that. And I only focus on my fasting hours. I don't really focus too much on my eating hours because I naturally like to have the OMAD. Usually that means I have some sort of a snack, then my meal, and if I want a dessert type snack afterwards, I have it. Most days I do want it. So then I have a OMAD, a three course meal if you will. I have that OMAD and then I close my eating window. Sometimes that means my snack is two hours before dinner. Then I eat my dinner and then maybe 45 minutes after dinner I have my sweet whatever it is and that could end up being a four hour eating window. Sometimes that means I sit down, I eat dinner, I have a snack right afterwards and that's only a 45 minute eating window. It really is dependent on what's available, what sounds good, how hungry I am. I really pay attention to what's available and how I'm feeling. I am not stuck in a rigid mindset of I fasted 23 hours, there's only one hour left in the day. It doesn't have to be that way. There's absolutely no reason to be legalistic with 24 hours. Yes, I fast daily. Yes, I have an eating window daily, but they do not have to add up to 24 hours. If you want more information on how I describe the best intermittent fasting schedule and focusing on the 18 hours versus anything else, you can see this video right here where I share with you more information on that. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao down and ciao.